welcome back to Maniacal Reader. Today I'm doing my October TBR. Now, I don't normally read seasonally, but I wanted to do something different this month. This year I'm in the mood to actually read something thrilling and spooky and paranormal. So, it definitely sounds like this is going to be an interesting reading month for me. It's fun to mix things up every once in a while. The first book I want to read this month is another little piece. It follows this girl named Annalise Rose Gordon. One night Annalise is in the woods, and she comes out of the woods surrounded by a high school party. She remembers screaming, being drenched in blood, and then she vanishes. A year later, Annalise is found wandering on a road a few miles away. She doesn't remember who she is or how she got there. Annalise is having these strange visions and fractured memories. This girl has to try to figure out who she is and what the heck is going on with her life. This book is classified as a YA horror. I don't normally read YA horror books, but this is the only horror book I own. But this book definitely sounds intriguing. It sounds like maybe Annalise was kidnapped or someone altered her memories in some way. I'm not really sure. This sounds like an intriguing read, and I can't wait to find out what exactly is happening to Annalise. Next up, I have The Girl in 6E by A.R. Torrey. This is an adult thrill, her book, and it's the first book in a trilogy. This book also has some dark romance in it as well. This book follows a girl who wraps herself in her apartment. She's a call girl, and she makes videos on the internet. That's how she earns money. But the reason why she doesn't leave her apartment is because she has the strong urge to kill people. I've heard many people will talk about this thriller and that it's really good. It definitely sounds like a dark and twisted read. I've also never read dark romance before. I'm interested to see what the genre is all about. In case I liked The Girl in 6E, I picked up the sequel, Do Not Disturb. The next book I want to read is The Body Finder by Kimberly Durding. This is the first book in a YA paranormal fantasy series. It followed this girl named Violet Ambrose, who has the ability to sense dead bodies and the imprints that they he leave attached to their killers. Also, Violet is falling for her best friend, Jay Heaton. She's never her liked her gift. She's never her found it useful. That is, until strange murders are happening in her small town, and she needs to get to the bottom of it. This sounds like a really intriguing paranormal read, and it sounds like there might be a mystery element to it, so I'm looking forward to starting this series. This series was also one of the series on my books that I want to finish before the end of 2017, so I'm looking forward to getting to the series this month. I also wanted to briefly mention that the Spookathon is happening this month. That's a readathon that Books and Lala hosts with a couple of her friends. The readathon was started for the first time last year, and it's continuing this year. The readathon will be taking place from October 16th to the 22nd. I'm not participating in any of the reading challenges for this readathon, but I am interested in reading the group book, and that is A Stranger in the House by Sherry Lapina. This is an adult thriller. I'm not exactly sure when the live show for her this book is happening, but I presume it'll be happening sometime at the end of the readathon. I'll put information on the screen or down below in the description. If you guys want to hear more about this readathon and the actual challenges that are involved, and when the live show actually is. The description of this book doesn't really sound intriguing unless I read it to you, so I thought I'd go ahead and do that. A present you can't remember. A past that won't let you go. You're home making dinner for your husband. You expect him any second. The phone rings. It's the call you hoped you'd never get. You jump in your car and race to a neighborhood you thought you'd never visit. You peer into the dark, deserted building and brace yourself for the worst. After that, you remember nothing. They tell your husband you've been in an accident. You lost control of your car as you sped through the roughest part of town. The police suspect you were up to no good, but your husband refuses to believe it. He thinks he knows you better than anyone else. Your best friend is not so sure, and even you don't know what to believe. This sounds like a really interesting adult thriller, and one that I'm definitely intrigued by. I can't wait to read the, this book this month and attend the live show. I'm looking forward to it. The next book I want to read this month 
is damaged like us by Chris Dan Becker Ritchie. This is actually a reread for me. The reason I'm rereading this book is because the next book in the series, Lovers Like Us, comes out on October 31st. This is the spin-off series of the Addicted series by Chris Dan Becker Ritchie, and I've talked about this series many times on my channel. I read Damaged Like Us at the end of June, and I really enjoyed it. The last book that I want to read this month is Unravel by Calia Reed. This is the first book in a new adult romance trilogy, but I think it might have a thriller aspect to it as well. I'm not really sure if I'll get to this book after reading all the others, but I could be buddy reading this book with a friend I met on Goodreads. This book follows a girl named Naomi Carradine, and something happened to her at a party he and her past that she's still trying to get over, but she's recently spent time in a mental institution. The people in her outside world are the only ones that are keeping her tethered to reality, but she's still having a hard time distinguishing between reality and the things that are in her head. So it sounds like this is going to be a mysterious book since I'm not really sure if the things that Naomi is thinking are actually happening or if she's somewhat crazy still. I'm not really sure, but this book definitely sounds intriguing. Those are all of the books that I want to read in October. Comment down below and tell me what you're planning on reading this month. Are you planning on reading anything spooky or paranormal this month? Or is this just a regular reading month for you? I'd love to know. I'll see you guys in my next video.